Good morning, my name is Jacob Folger. I'm an artist and sculptor, and today we're going to make a sculptured bonsai tree. I came up with this idea uh, a short time ago, and I've done a few trees, and they're really quite beautiful. And I thought I would like to share it with you and let you see if you want to try to do one yourself. So uh, we're going to get started right away. It's a fairly easy project and uh, should be a lot of fun. Okay, we're going to uh, be sculpting the uh, bonsai tree on a stone. And just want to talk about that real quick. I mean, you can use stones from outdoors, uh, you know, just find them outside. Or uh, this stone I actually bought, um, I think it was 35 pounds of these kind of smooth, dark gray stones from Home Depot. Um, and uh, they shipped them to me and it actually actually the uh, shipping was quite affordable I was surprised but I think I paid uh, without shipping about $25 for the stones and they're, they're pretty nice um, and so that's another option of course and uh, and you can also do a search online for rocks and stones um, to buy smaller quantities or that sort of thing. I use stones a lot in my um, creations, so I need lots of stones and so I, I do buy them in larger quantities. Now we're also going to be working with uh, polymer clay. This is Sculpey 3 brand. It's a brand I use most of the time. And uh, But you can use other brands. The thing is you want to make sure whatever you've got to use is going to stick to the rock. Or to the stone. Now we're going to use a uh, acrylic product to um, just kind of um, take away the uh, porousness or porosity of the rock. I'm just going to paint it on. I just need to do one coat. Um, there are a few striations and I want to make sure I get it in those little markings uh, on the stone. I'm using a uh, fairly smooth, soft, bristled uh, brush uh, to apply it so it gives a nice uh, smooth finish. And this does dry fairly quickly so that's why I'm you know, showing you this way so that you can see. Then I just take a you know sculpting tool or something like that and it'll just prop it up on it so it can uh, dry both uh, top and bottom the uh, the material I'll, I'll put a, uh, this product I'll put in the video description down below the video uh, there'll be a tool and supply list and it will be in there and just make sure you clean your brush and water I have a uh, water off camera here and I'm just cleaning it um, cleaning it in that and uh, and while that's drying uh, we want to uh, knead the clay which also conditions it and I've already started to do that I started to do that off camera before we started so uh, but I'm just going to do a little bit more here Conditioning uh, mixes up all the ingredients on the inside of the clay, so it will uh, sculpt easy and cook and cook right, uh, bake right, I should say. Um, and then I'm going to take uh, a ball of clay and I'm going to just form it like this in my hands first to get it to almost the shape of a ball. And then I'll start rolling it between the palms of my hands. And get it to a fairly smooth ball. See if there's any cracks like that. You can either blend them out or continue to roll it to make it you know, fairly smooth. And then uh, you can start rolling it into a uh, oblong shape and or kind of a cone shape so it's uh, like that and then what I'm going to do is so assuming this is 
the beginning of the trunk of the tree um, up here I want to start uh, producing the first branch that I'm going to have on the tree and so instead of adding that I'm just going to continue to roll it to uh, kind of give it the shape of the branch that I want to kind of come off the tree So see if that's uh, about what I want. I might make that a little bit longer. Maybe like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just sort of flatten the bottom a little bit like this. And this, I've been doing this for a long time, but I use scissors to just create the beginnings of the roots of the tree. So I'm going to make a snip there. And then I'm going to make one here, and that will give me the beginning of three roots. It's just a very easy way to get started on the roots. And then I'll start to kind of squeeze them and bring them out to like points. Just kind of pulling a little bit and, uh, and squeezing and shaping them. Now see the stone is, is almost completely dry at this point. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, this tool here and uh, this kind of a, a gash made by the scissors on the inside of the uh, uh, roots there and I'm just going to smooth that out a little bit. And I'm going to take some Sculpey Bacon Bond and I'm just going to apply a little bit um, you know like a little line going along the, uh, the inside of the root there and this will help it stick better to the um, to the stone Now I'm going to um, place the tree on the stone and deciding how I want it to sit on there and just press it into place. And I'm going to kind of rock the tree back a little bit so it's kind of going in, in that direction a little bit. And, uh, and then I'm just going to bring this branch down, curving down. And I'm just going to start to shape it now. I'm looking for, you know, for me, I'm looking for a uh, kind of a flowing uh, shape. And I'll check it, I'll check the, uh, to make sure that it's not leaning too far in any direction that I don't want it to.
Now I'm going to take another piece uh, of clay, and this is, I'm going to just knead it a little bit. I always try to uh, knead it and condition it a little bit as I go to, kind of keeping it where it should be. And then uh, I'm going to roll it into a ball and uh, into the shape of a branch. And I don't want it to be real long. I'm probably going to make it just a little bit shorter than that. And then uh, I'm going to score it where it's going to join here on the uh, on the tree and uh, score it here as well. And then uh, twist it to join. The tree there and then I'm going to start blending that in all the way around we use a sculpting tool where it'd be easier to get to rather than using my fingers here and just blend it there as well I think I'm going to take this branch and kind of bend it down this way and then maybe have it come up a little bit. Just further shaping it a little bit. And then I'm going to add another branch. Now I'm just going to, on this tree, I'm just going to have the three branches. I'm not sure about the roots, but right now I think I'm just going to have three branches on it. So I roll the, the little cone for the branch. And um, I'm going to score where it's going to join here. And then twist the two parts to uh, to give a nice bond, and then blend the uh, the branch into the tree. And then. Uh, uh, blend that nice nicely together there in uh, in that little V joint and then I'm just gonna bring I think bring this this branch out like that now you can see the um, the shape of the tree is very fluid and uh, very smooth, very flowing. And uh, I think what I might do is um, I've got the tree kind of coming back this way. And then maybe have it in a way bowing um, 
back towards this way. I almost, I think I like having that branch, you know, touching, reaching down and touching that root or even the stone. It's, you know, in a way it's, uh, I would call it maybe abstract art too, uh, also. I think this root here, I just want to have maybe coming this way a little bit. at from this uh, from this side make sure it's standing up straight or you know I'm just not leaning I don't want it to be leaning and I really actually I, I like that branch um, kind of just laying against the stone like that. In fact, I'm going to now just press it in a little bit against the stone so it's kind of sticking to it. And that's getting it to where, about where I want it. I just want to put the, um, kind of stroke this in a little bit here where the roots join the stone it's it's like it's bowing and I really I really actually like that design now this tree will not I I don't plan on having moss on it but you could definitely put moss on it for foliage if you like but the tr these trees that I've been designing lately do not have uh, moss on them now probably what I'd like to do is um, is add some texture to the tree okay I'm gonna just um, I want to bring this Of form this a little bit better here and so I think that's pretty close to where I want it and uh, and there's a number of ways to put texture in it um, and uh, one way is to is to draw lines or carve lines into it another way is to take like the back of a tool like this and this is what I think I want to do is just um, just make lines in it I'll bring this up close so you can see that Um, just going around along and uh, kind of carving lines soft they're kind of soft lines And uh, one thing that's, you know, nice about doing this is uh, if you have um, a lot of fingerprints or markings that you don't want to see, this will kind of 
take them out. Also, when uh, you put your finish on it, now I'm going to use a, uh, I'm going to do an aged bronze finish on it using pigments. And I'm going to show you how to do that. But when you put them on, it, it gives it nice, a nice mottled look that uh, you wouldn't necessarily be able to get very easily if you, if you left the tree uh, without um, any kind of... Um, texture and I am paying attention to how I'm doing the lines and just kind of having them uh, you know nice easy uh, flowing and nice and fluid. Okay, we're back here. I just uh, went went around and uh, completed the uh, the texturing, and now I'm going to grab some bronze here. This is uh, Pearl X Pigments Antique Bronze uh, right here, and uh, the best thing to do is to Put a little bit of it in a lid uh, like this, like I've got here, and um, now you do want to, uh, I'm assuming, avoid uh, gets getting it on the stone. Um, you get a little bit on your fingers. The best way to apply it, and uh, and then swirl it with your thumb to kind of subdue it a little bit and then just um, you can see just uh, slide it over the uh, over the tree You can also use your thumb since you've been swirling it. If it's easier to do with your thumb, you can do that. And you can see the, um, the texture looks really nice with the bronze on it like that. And I'm just highlighting it. Now you can make it, you know, bright, shiny, um, bronze if you want but you would probably want to use a paintbrush if you're going to do that and just paint it on this is this is just really pretty i think Try to get this to where you can see it.
and then you can just uh, wipe your uh, your hand off on a rag and you know maybe when you're all done you know wash your hands just get a bit more in here hands off here it's a fairly easy project I think the the thing to keep in mind is you know the basic idea behind this is to um, you know have nice you know flowing uh, lines nice form and um, And then you'll bake it, and if you look in the video description down below the video, you'll find the instructions on baking. But just to let you know, uh, the stone is going to be okay. It's uh, The uh, oven just doesn't get hot enough in the period of time it will be baking at that uh, temperature for the Sculpey 3, which is 275 degrees. It just won't get hot enough to hurt the stone, so just keep that in mind. And it's a, it's a, just a nice, relaxing uh, project. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe to my channel. I have many videos along these lines. And uh, please give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and leave me a comment or question in the comment section. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, let me know if you like uh, bonsai trees and that sort of thing and would like to see more sculptured bonsai trees please let me know and i'll uh, make some more videos like this thanks so much and have a great day